This is the angle here. Hi. Hello. New lip products. Today I have with me here all six colors of tint from B by Bonella. I brought the color splash water tints, which are said to be water fit tints that are vivid in colors and less smearing. I'll be showing you the swatch of all colors and doing various tests as well. So let's start the review right away. Vanilla Coast new lip product. They are B by Bonella's color splash water tint. All six colors. Each lip tint is packaged in a plastic pouch with a color film inside matching the color of each tint. I kind of think the design of the package is pretty cute. The overall design starting from the case gives off a vivid color image. And as you can feel from its name, the design of the lid gives off a moist image. As it feels vivid from the design, I think it will go well with the summer season. The applicator appears to be slightly bent according to the angle of the lips and since it's thin, I think it should be easy to apply it on. When applying it on, can you see how vivid the color is and how moisturizing it looks and feels? It has a water layering fit that reduces dryness and stains while maintaining moisture so the color gets darker without getting clumpy even when layered several times over. It also seems to give off a natural moisture glow. Overall, I can see that they're pink, orange, red, and plum colors. And since the colors are vivid, I think they'll go better with cool tones than warm tones. When removing half of them with a wet tissue, it's said to be long wearing and the colors stay vivid for a long time just like when they're first applied. I could see that they stain with their own color rather than a pink stain. Although they look to be less staining on the arm, when applied on the lips, they actually have a stronger stain. When checking to see how it smears, I could see they smeared less than I expected. And the tint stayed just like when it's first applied with a very light failing. Since they're moisturizing tints, I didn't expect much from them at all, but they actually stain stronger than I expected. Since I really like moisturizing lip products, I like to use moisturizing products that are slightly stronger in staining and don't give off a pink stain, but most products give off a pink stain when the staining is strong or have a weak stain. In addition, there were products that would get removed when eating despite having a strong stain, and this product also got removed when I ate something, so I had to apply it again. And since they're said to be moisturizing, I thought that they'll feel a bit thick, but to my surprise, they were actually very light as they thinly stick onto the lips. So now let me show you the swatch of each color. CR01 Coral Fizz is said to be a lovely coral pink color. It's the most delicate looking color among the six colors, and as I can't see any whiteness even though it's coral, I think it'll be a good color to express natural lips. OR01 Orange Squeeze is said to be a red-orange color that enhances vitality and tone. It's a color that seems to go well with warm tones, so I think it'll be great to use for people who has difficulty to use red color. RD02 Red Like is said to be a versatile red that can be applied on regardless of whether you're warm or cool toned. I think it's a color appears to be more red than orange squeeze, so it's somewhat of a scarlet color, so I think it'll look great on people who think they don't go well with orange. RD01 Bloody is said to be a classic pure red color tint. I think it's a classic red color that looks great on all tones, and it's a color that I would recommend for people who really like red colors. PP01 Crushed Plum is said to be a plum red color, it's both clear and mood catching. It appears to be a deep plumish wine color and seems to go well with cool when it comes to tone and winter when it comes to weather. PK01 Mellow Pink is said to be a rose pink color that is both moody and lively. I think it's the most toned down in the pink color among all six colors and it seems to be a color that is more pink than red. Since these tints are said to be less smearing, I wanted to find out if it'll be less smearing when wearing a mask, so I also did a mask test. When wearing a mask, since it feels a bit stuffy and humid inside, I thought they would smear, but to my surprise, I barely saw any smearing at all. And when rubbing my lips with my finger, the tint wasn't coming off. Also, I realized that these tints stained on the lips faster than I thought they would. When I was applying them on ingredition when doing the swatch, I had to blend them quickly or else a line would have appeared. And since I saw some people asking me about how to apply lip products in gradation, let me show you how to apply them in gradation simply. First step when applying in gradation, apply the tint only on the inner lips. Then, move your lips like this by concentrating only on the inner lips. And since I don't like tints getting on my hands, I use cotton swab and just smush the line gently. Since my upper lip didn't get stained, I'll apply a bit more only on my upper lip and wait a moment and smudge it with a cotton swab. Like this, gradation lip is done. 
So like this, I've showed the swatch of all the colors from Be By Vanilla's Color Splash Water Tints with a smearing and mask test and also showed you how to apply them on in gradation. Even though the design of the case is very simple, since I like these kind of designs, I really love them. In addition, since the colors are not too obvious, I like the colors as well. And all of these products had a grapefruit scent, which I also loved it. These are definitely the products that I would recommend for those who are looking for a moisturizing lip that stays on for a long time. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.